All right, quick video. This is going to be a quick video. Um, how cool is this? Basically, I've uh, got a brand new set of 1KZ injectors here. Obviously, these are the old ones that came out. You know, a fair bit of carbon and whatever. There's a couple of issues there. Oh, where's all the seating washers? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Looks like they weren't even there. Uh, let's just confirm. How many seating washers were under these injectors when they came out? Just one, number four. Just one. So the other three didn't have any seating washer under them whatsoever. Bada bing. Okay, so once again, this is a careful who you take your vehicle to video. You can see one seating washer just there. The other injectors. And look at all the carbon and crap. Look, what have they used? There's all, it looks like they've used a bit of... Gee, that's just a mess. Anyway, whatever. So good these are coming out. What a disaster. The other thing is, see these nuts here? This is the stand, this one here, this is the standard nut. Let's take this out of the picture for a minute. This is the standard nut that retains the fuel return line or the leak back pipe, right, to the injectors, right? You can have a look, both sides look the same. That's what it looks like, right? Have a good look at it. Right. That's the standard nut, right? Now, there needs to be four of those to, return, to retain this fuel return line down onto the top part of the injector there, right? And obviously maybe when this was butchered last, and that's what it is, it's butchery, you know, someone's just been in there butchering vehicles, and that's why we say careful where to go. It's not just a, you know, uh, it's what it is, you know, too many people wrecking cars, but look, they've dropped the nut, because this is the right nut, and there's three of the right nuts, you know, there's, here you go, another one, another one, right? So there's three of the right nuts, uh, but have a look at this one, mate, have a look at this one. <laughs> so they've, <laughs> they've lost one of the nuts and they've manufactured their own and it was a bit thick so you know they've uh, ripped it so to speak you know like you rip a bit of timber you know the chippies know what I'm talking about <laughs> they've ripped the nut right so you know it'll do the job um, so basically what we're going to do is unfortunately this is probably not available from Toyota locally quickly uh, the job's happening today so the options are we're going to check with Toyota and see if they've got one, if they can get one, like, you know, if, if anyone's got one in stock, we can replace with the correct one. If they haven't, the next uh, port of call will be visiting the bolt shop and trying to get another one the same as these. And as long as they're close enough to do the job, we may even replace all four. They're just nuts at the end of the day, but, and this will do the job, but how dodgy does that look? Because if you wanted to use that, you'd put the good side down so that it retains evenly, so you don't have any leaks. And then you've got that to look at. Could you imagine? You know, like if you put your vehicle for sale and someone comes and inspects it and they look around the injectors and they see that, they're going to go, oh my God. Anyway, so the good news is all this is going to get fixed up. Nice, brand new, clean injectors. There'll be four injector seats. Talk to the specification, 54 Newton meters. You know, the fuel return line will be refitted. Uh, Oh, I just, I've forgotten. What's that? 40 Newton meters on the return line? Can anyone... Or was that 30? Oh, look, it's either 30 or 40. I can't remember. And then the fuel lines go on at 15. I think it's I think it's 30 Newton meters, actually. But you'd have to check that one. So 54, the injectors, these nuts, 30, and the fuel, uh, the fuel line is 15. But just check it because I could be wrong. There you go. There's another cheap... Cheap video, a cheap video, a quick video. There's another quick video, so please give me the thumbs up for being quick because I noticed you love that. And subscribe and turn the bell on because we've got more information coming your way. Have a look at this butchery. Thanks for watching, guys. See <laughs> Did I fool you? Did I trick you? I almost tricked myself. Now, new injectors, this is why I use new injectors. New injectors come with the nut. See the nut there? So we don't need to go to any bolt shops. We don't need to go anywhere because we've got old injectors spares changeovers whatever you want to call it for people that want remanufactured and see that nut there there it is brand new so with the new injectors in the box the nuts there you don't need to worry about that butcherism that people do to the vehicles uh it all taken care of with the new genuine parts and the seating washer as you can see comes with the injector all brand new genuine thanks for watching that's the real facts of the matter hopefully you uh, enjoyed that and for the people that hung around till the end, even though it was short, they got the correct information. Please give us a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe, bell on, we're out of here. See ya. Thanks, bye.